Hello, in this video we will discuss about the lac operon. Uh, it is also known as lactose operon. And what is lac operon? Let's begin to understand a set of genes that are specific for uptake and metabolism of lactose. So a, a gene are present in the bacteria, so remember. So we will also learn about the lactose intolerance. So let's begin to understand from the digestive system when we will take the milk. So milk contains lactose. So remember, lactose is the disaccharide, which that is type of sugar. So when we will intake this uh, lactose, it is made up, made up of galactose and glucose. So this is the oral cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus, and appendix. So the uh, large intestine is known as the colon so when we will intake the milk it will go into the stomach and it contain protein obviously whey protein which that digest in the stomach while the lactose basically will digest in the small intestines also so the ingestion to lactose which that will digest in the small intestine less while the stomach go a stomach to the small intestine will uh, digest more and large intestine which that is unable to digest so the affected by microbiota in the small large intestine for digestion so remember that when large intestine will digest in uh, uh, a small amount of the lactose will not digest in the small intestine will go into the large intestine which that will uh, digest through bacteria the help from the bacteria E. coli so the microbiome are present in this way here is the cross uh, is the bigger picture of the large intestine contain the longitudinal muscle circular muscle serosa inside and the mucosa and muscularis mucosa basically is the layers of the, the large intestine while here is the mucous membrane are also present which that is a barrier immunity so inside is the goblet cell so remember so this is the lactose which that is made up of galact galactose and glucose so alpha 1 to 4 glycosidic bond so in this way here is the situation can be one is lactose plus glucose so the bacteria will prefer more glucose because high energy consumption inhibition while if the glucose already present only so prefer bacteria situation two situation three is the lactose basically uh, if present only so the bacteria will prefer to lactose break down through enzyme so enzyme produce from the dna in the genes of the bacteria so let's begin to understand the set of gene is known as the lac operon so this lac operon contain a capsite this is the dna of the bacteria so this is the double stranded circular back, uh, DNA I am uh, drawing here. So when glucose will be more, so here is the cap site are present which that will not bind with the cap through cyclic AMP because when glucose will be more so the cyclic AMP will not activate and decrease of the cyclic AMP so the cap will be, will be not bind. So this is the promoter RNA poly polymerase binding region. So the poly polymerase will not bind, so the gene transcription will not occur. While when the high amount of the lactose and the glucose will not present, so it means the promoter region, which that will repressor release, while in the case of repressor are present, which that will inhibit the lactose producing, uh, lactose digesting enzyme producing. So in this way the RNA polymerase will bind with the repressor release. So in this way you can understand the promoter will promote the operator. The operator contains lac L gene. This is the operator is used for the operation and that is the repressor will release from it. If the glucose will be high so the repressor will work and bind and will not allow to release while the lactose will release it if the lactose will high concentration while the glucose will less so anyhow that uh, rna polymerase will work and uh, to transcribe the lac c gene y gene and a gene and is termination the aug to initiation factor of the codon will terminate 
uh, via a UAA, UGA, etc. So this is the lac Z will produce the lactase enzyme, while the lac Y produce the membrane embedded transporter, the lactose permease, which that is used for the permeability of the lactose into the bacteria from the digestive system. While on the other hand, here is the galactoside acetyl transferase enzyme produced from the lac A, which that is uh, unknown, but you can understand this can be a galactoside uh, acetyl transferase enzyme it's used for the galactose uh, influx, the movement of galactose into the cell of the bacteria. So let's begin to understand the mechanism, the cellular level. So in this way, the anaerobic fermentation will be occur. Why? Because into the digestive system, less oxygen, the bacteria will grow without oxygen is known as and use energy is known as the anaerobic bacteria. So this anaerobic will fermentation of the lactose into the glucose and the conversion and the metabolism. Let's begin to understand. So this is the plasma membrane of the bacteria, which that is contained when the lactase will produce and the membrane embedded transporter will embed in the membrane and on the other hand the uh, basically uh, the galactoside acetyl transferase enzyme will bind will fix from the transcription of the gene will fix into the plasma membrane after this here you can see this the lactase intracellularly can be break down the lactose into the glu glucose and galactose which that will be metabolized to produce the lactic acid carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas while on the other hand here is the lactose will convert extracellularly into the glucose and galactose so the galactose will enter through a glyco galactoside uh, acetyl transferase enzyme so you can you can understand just uh, for work this galactose so in this way when move inside the, the lactic acid and carbon dioxide and hydrogen will produce so what will be happen so la this is the basically the metabolism complete for the bacteria so let's begin to understand the lactose intolerance so the bacteria can use to produce energy through anaerobic fermentation and this is the milk when we will take esophagus go into the bolus into the stomach to the chyme into the duodenum and this will basically enterocyte are present this enterocyte is basically contain a lactase enzyme in the brush powder site and this brush powder enzyme is the lactase will convert into the lactose into the glucose and galactose uh, through our own body without using the bacteria so the glucose can enter easily through glute channel. So this is the basically the glucose will enter through a sodium move inside. So, so the simple transport, remember. I am not drawing part, ju just you can learn that. So lactase absent if the gene silent due to the epigenetic or gene defect or the uh, family history, which that will lead to lactose intolerance. So what is the meaning of intolerance? So the lactose we will we can't absorb, but the bacteria will work for the lactose clearance. How it's possible? So here is the bacterial action we will discuss. Also the methanogen will also work for it. So methanogen will produce the methane gas and hydrogen gas as well as carbon dioxide, while the bacteria action for the lactic acid E. coli which that will convert the lactic acid and the hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So in this case, here is the methanogen produce methane, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. While the lactic acid will produce this formula is C3H6O3 is the lactic acid. Lactic acid will also cause the acidosis in the stomach. So the GIT uh, gastrointestinal tract acidosis will be occur in the duodenum while on the other hand the gas the hydrogen and carbon dioxide will produce and this all lead to osmotic effect 
will lead to absorption of the water from the circulatory system and enterocyte into the lumen of the digestive system so in this way when the water will be enter will increase the volume of the water will distension of gut this distension of the gut due to the fluid load and in this way the increased the peristalsis movement due to the stretching of the wall of the large intestine and the fluid load will also cause the diarrhea and the increased peristalsis will lead to cause pain and the flatulence and this enterocyte can be damaged so the digestive system totally damaged so in summary the our action of bacteria due to lack of lactase enzyme on brush powder cells to convert the glucose lactose cause the problem is known as the intolerance of milk so intolerance of lactose so this uh, we had discussed about this uh, in this video the lack of piron as well as the lactose intolerance so the lack of piron will work but the a lot of lactose when intolerance and lactase enzyme absence in our own digestive system will lead to cause the our uh, lactic acid and hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide will lead to cause the uh, problem in our digestive system so i hope you make sense about this thanks for watching bye